My name is uh, Tomislav Obat. I come from a Croatian company called IGEA. Uh, me and my colleague Marco uh, made a presentation about uh, challenges uh, in integration of GIS and non-GIS non applications. So, in short, we'll, I'll tell who we are, what, what do we do usually, and how we solve those problems. So, they said that uh, there is uh, like a Dilbert joke for every situation in IT, so this, uh, this picture could uh, describe uh, our, our current uh, work, so with, with like... Uh, Experience, uh, experienced uh, IT experts that don't code too much anymore, but were promoted to something, uh, something else. So, uh, <coughs> Igea is a Croatian company. Uh, this is a part. Uh, Igea is part of IN2 Group. Uh, IN2 Group is one of the largest uh, IT companies in Croatia. We have uh, around 15 uh, JS uh, developers. Uh, they are specialized in, uh, specialized in GIS, and around 300 uh, developers in whole uh, IN2 group. They work in uh, different areas. Uh, we cover wide range of uh, public sector and private sector uh, projects. IGEA has uh, more than 10 years of experience in open source GIS development, mostly, mostly web development and some desktop. Uh, we are working on uh, national level uh, systems like cadaster systems, address registers, uh, nature protection and, and similar. Uh, basically, we are open source uh, oriented. At first, we were working with uh, GeoMedia for some years, but uh, since like 2007 or 8, we started working with uh, with open source technologies like GeoServer and some other technologies. <clears throat> uh, so this this image describes what do we do actually. So we on the lower level we have JS supported systems, so those are business uh, systems that, ha that that use JS like a, like a added value. So we work with cadaster, with uh, spatial planning, nature protection, roads, and some other uh, areas. Uh, we uh, work on domain geo portals. Uh, let's that are on national level, but are specialized for, uh, specialized for some. Uh, for some area like I don't know nature protection and 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 other, and we we're working on a nation a national level uh, geo portals. Uh, we we've done uh, geo portals uh, in Croatia and uh, Albania and uh, some other countries. Um, <clears throat> so what challenges uh, challenges do we have? So uh, the most uh, the most uh, the, the two main tasks that we deal with are uh, development of standalone uh, graphically driven applications so those are basically geo portals and we uh, develop uh, js modules that are not standalone but but integrate in in other uh, non gis or business applications so, uh, as I've said before, we have we work on national geo portals and domain specific geo portals as standalone uh, portals all are concerned. Oh, sorry. And these are some screenshots uh, <clears throat> related to uh, those geo portals. The first one is Albanian. The second one is uh, as SDI in Croatia and in and the geo portal for uh, national uh, state geodetic administration on the right side we have uh, we have some uh, specialized geo portal for uh, for infrastructure 
uh, the, for, for roads and for na nature protection or um, uh, for sensors and uh, air quality. <clears throat> uh, the other group uh, of uh, tasks are related to integrations. Uh, so uh, we uh, we work with there. There is a standard set of functions uh, that we uh, support in those integrations. So uh, usually, with, when some system integrates uh, GIS data, uh, it uh, uses GIS maps for uh, some of some of the tasks uh, that are shown on the screen. So we usually show something on map. Let's say we have a property and user says show me this uh, property on map then we like uh, make a digitization of uh, those uh, business related objects let's say location of this property and uh, we have like uh, show me thematic uh, thematic maps based on table data this is like an like a simple bi integration and of course, we need to uh, geocode the location or uh, uh, find an address or similar. <clears throat> uh, how do we solve these integration uh, issues? So we we have uh, multiple approaches. Uh, two main approaches are uh, custom development. So in in projects that are um, that are highly uh, customized. Uh, we use like uh, development from scratch that are simple, uh, simple, and uh, they have specific workflow. And for other stuff, we use uh, like in-house develop uh, platform that is open source based. Uh, <clears throat> so in the end, uh, the goal is to make uh, this integration more simple. And to uh, and that this uh, uh, application looks uh, like a single application. So there isn't like uh, you have a business application, and at what point you have to uh, jump to this GIS application. So the user interface should look uh, like as as one application or integrated. <coughs> uh, when do we use uh, custom development? So. Uh, we we try to uh, make this custom development options as uh, rare as possible, uh, w but sometimes we need it, especially with in cases uh, when um, when there is an, a legacy system that doesn't have uh, an option to uh, to e easily integrate. Uh, and is perhaps uh, develop on some um, older technology like I don't know Oracle Forms or some older uh, technology from 90s or 2000s. Uh, when uh, in the cases when we need a simpler functionalities and our pl platform is too uh, too complex and uh, uh, too big. And where there is some kind of specific workflow that uh, isn't supported by our platform, so the main, the goal is to mi uh, minimize those cases and uh, to make uh, this uh, our platform called the Geo more flexible, and so we can use it in uh, complex integrations and also in simpler integrations. Uh, <clears throat> Egeo platform that we develop, uh, we're working on it for, I don't know, a few years, perhaps five years. Um, so this is, uh, we on, on the beginning we were developed, every time we had a project, we developed it from, from scratch. So we took uh, open layers, uh, some uh, JavaScript library, and few programmers uh, made this uh, application and uh, during the projects we've uh, we've seen that uh, there is some similarities that we can make some uh, some platform some like base for every other projects and we've uh, started to 
develop this platform. So, uh, so this Egeo platform is open source based. So every technology that we use is open source. Uh, the only thing that is not open source are perhaps databases that we use. So we uh, we. Uh, Whenever we can, we want to use post uh, post GIS uh, uh, or post uh, post uh, SQL, uh, but sometimes the client wants to use Oracle or SQL ser Server or something else. Uh, backend is based on Java Spring, and frontend is based in, on Angular and open layers and Cesium, and in cases. Uh, when there is a need for 3D uh, support. Of course, we have integration with the Geo server, uh, Geo web cache, and GeoFence. Integration is uh, realized through some uh, REST API, so we can like make uh, some layer on Geo server through our interface, or we can like initiate uh, cache uh, reload, or uh, I don't know, uh, work with security through GeoFence. So as I've said, uh, so we use this Egeo uh, on one hand as a standalone uh, framework, uh, a standalone geo portal, so we can like uh, deploy it, and user can make uh, their own data, uh, create new layers, expose it through services. On the other hand, we use it for custom development. <clears throat> uh, so. Uh, this picture shows uh, this picture shows uh, technology that's, that are used in the system. So uh, on the lower level, we have uh, a meta model that is uh, usually stored in PostGIS or can be stored also on a SQL Server or Oracle. Uh, we also use Elasticsearch. Uh, Elasticsearch is used for storage, uh, for for search, uh, search needs because uh, we it so we basically uh, prepare all data in Elasticsearch in a s simpler form, so we can um, make a quick search of all data, including uh, spatial uh, spatial filtering. Um, with these components, uh, we communicate through our backend that is uh, Java-based, uh, and uh, this backend also communicates with Geo Server, Geo Web Cache, and Geo Network. This is not so important right now, but also we have some integrations with Geo Network. Um, through through uh, on the client side, as I said, we have open layers, Angular, and Cesium that communicates with every of those layers, either tr uh, with uh, Geo backend or uh, Geo server and and caching server. <clears throat> In short, uh, Geo has uh, support for. 2D and 3D uh, viewing of raster and vector layers. We ha we've integrated multi-language support through this uh, user interface, so we can, through administration, we can create language, uh, different language packages for all the data, all uh, user interface labels, and also data models. So we can like uh, make uh, names of attributes in different languages. We have a wide range of tools for navigation, uh, measuring, drawing, and in general uh, support for uh, history of data, uh, data history through this uh, ch change set mechanism. Of course, as I've said before, uh, we have support for advanced search and identification uh, using Elasticsearch and drag and drop uh, of raster, data, raster and vector data which are stored on Geo server. As, so we on the fly make like a new layer which is stored on the Geo server and we, uh, we uh, show it on the map. Also we can integrate it with Geo web cache so we can cache it on the fly. Um, <clears throat> So this is a 
basic user interface of the system. I will show it uh, later uh, if I'll have enough time. Okay, maybe I'll have. Uh, so uh, on the left side we have a, a layer tree that shows all the layers. Layer tree is uh, hierarchical, so we can uh, have multiple levels. Uh, those is the list of the select layers or shown on map. We have this uh, base layer selection. Uh, on the right side we have the old uh, tools that are um, in also in hierarchical um, uh, menus and the standard uh, standard uh, header. <clears throat> Regarding the administration, so this administration is based on a uh, meta model. Uh, so we can uh, uh, manage uh, feature classes and their attributes, and this is integrated with GeoServer. So we use uh, GeoServer REST API and create um, create feature classes, add attributes, and s everything basically everything that is supported through API. We can uh, uh, we've made some uh, our uh, custom feature classes styling tool that is based on SLD uh, specification and some custom uh, vendor options from GeoServer. We, uh, we have support for uh, Teams layer trees, data import. Uh, we uh, we uh, support uh, security of the services through integration with Geofence. So we've uh, made some custom uh, uh, meta model that is very similar to Geofence and we store it, uh, when we persist those changes in uh, Geofence, Geofence uh, security model. We can, uh, we can define which tools are uh, available for uh, which user or group of users and uh, for some, uh, on some project we, we were, uh, we need to develop support for uh, data uh, purchase or uh, pay in payment in integration. So we've made the whole uh, module that is used and can integrate with some payment uh, payment service. So this is a <clears throat> user interface of the standard user interface of the uh, admin module. Of course, it can be customized. Uh, it uses uh, Ja latest JavaScript technology, I think uh, in this case we've used some uh, team and bo uh, bootstrap and uh, and it can be <coughs> customized. Uh, so how do we integrate it with uh, other systems? So we uh, usually, uh, depending on the system that we need to integrate it with, we have, uh, like, currently we developed two major, uh, two uh, options. One option is WebSocket integration, and one integration is standard JavaScript API. Uh, with, of course, since we use uh, iframe, because we need to integrate with some legacy system that that, that cannot integrate uh, our uh, uh, our client side and. Uh, CSS and uh, some other uh, uh, issues, so we you use it currently with iframe. We have some integration methods that we use, uh, like a standard zoom to some uh, location or draw draw some uh, object and similar, so we can like uh, uh, we can like uh, manipulate with with uh, data on the map. Uh, through this other user interface. So what is the future of this? So since we are using uh, iframes, this is like a very old technology and has its own drawbacks. Uh, the thing we, we are started to uh, uh, research is uh, our web components. So web components is a mechanism that allows you to create custom web component in some of the JavaScript uh, frameworks that uh, you can uh, register in, a, in any, any HTML that, that is uh, loaded in web browser. So in, in your version of web browsers like Chrome, uh, Firefox, or I don't know, Opera. Um, <clears throat> 
So uh, it it should provide like a seamless integration. We can we can we could be able to integrate it in any any HTML. Of course, we need support for uh, for this web components in the browser, which all the newer uh, browsers have. Uh, and uh, for this, uh, we're uh, researching this uh, technology that is ra rather new. It's called Angular Elements, and uh, it enables you to um, pack this component, uh, this Angular component, into this uh, standalone and independent web component. And of course, we can uh, in this component we can then uh, integrate in any other uh, library like React or Vue or something else. Uh, so Angular Elements, so this is the uh, way uh, this web component works. So application registers custom elements uh, in browser and uh, adds this custom and, and element to DOM. And uh, after that, a browser instead uh, makes the uh, this component uh, available to the system, so you you can use this like let's say custom element which is called my tag inside of HTML, in in a simple uh, simple way. Um, so uh, as I've said before, Angular is one of the most popular frameworks, and we use it for for our our platform. Uh, I will make a short light live demo just to see this integration we use um, we use currently uh, only problem is the I'm not sure if the resolution will be enough oh it's okay so uh, using this so this is a standard uh, map that has uh, that has uh, HTML in iframe with with our application. So we we communicate uh, through uh, WebSocket API and say we can like uh, this is not so this is another application and this is GI application. So we can like make zoom to coordinates. Okay, sorry, or I don't know zoom to extend or. Uh, add some points so we can like uh, uh, send a command that creates points uh, some lines I don't know we have support for circular crown and we can zoom to it and there is a number of methods that we've developed uh, to support this now it's not working just a moment zoom to all ah, okay this is this is the way <clears throat> uh, I, I have like one minute. I can uh, shortly show you the Egeo platform. You can uh, you can check it out on this address. Uh, you cannot check it, uh, or I've or I've written some. Okay, I will one moment. Okay, I don't know. It doesn't work <laughs> apparently. But basically, it's the very similar to to this. All, all, although this is a very simplified uh, version of uh, of this platform. Geo. Mm, I don't know. It's it's blocked or something. Uh, <clears throat> on the end. Ah, I, I, no, I got the wrong address, sorry. It's not uh, hosted on IGEA, but on IN2 site, 
I forgot about that. IN2 HR. Okay, we, we don't have a, we have a self-signed certificate, so it throws an error. Uh, no, it doesn't work. Okay, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> on the end, Mm, no, no, I think it won't work. Ah, so I, it seems that somebody changed. There is a geo tochka higher. You can access it. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. Without HTTPS. Ah, without. Okay. I could really use a mouse. Uh, home. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I should have tried before. Uh, okay, so this we on the left side we have a layer three. Uh, the whole application, I forgot to mention, the whole application is responsive, so you can use it on a mobile phone, on uh, on tablet or some other. You can change uh, base layers. On the left side, we have a range of, uh, range of tools. I don't know, for identification, for drawing. So just to see that uh, the layer trees um, uh, the the tool uh, tool part is also like uh, hierarchical, and we can check if this will work. Slash. So we have. Uh, uh, I guess it's not the same. Or it's no. No, it doesn't work. Okay, if somebody will be interested in this, I can show you username and password. <coughs> so on the end, uh, so you can check on this address, actually not on this because it doesn't work, uh, but there is a question. So it's, uh, is this, uh, is, is GEO open source? So in sh short answer is, no, it's not currently open source, uh, but we were planning to put it open source. Uh, we would like to pre prepare a, a good documentation. Probably some parts won't be available si since they're pro project specific, but since we're like deep in projects, we, we didn't fully prepare it to make it open source. Does anybody have some questions? No. Okay. In this, in this case, uh, the next presentation is from uh, Yakim Cepichki. Is that is that correct? Okay. He will present. Uh, he will present something about how to make uh, JS uh, sharing much quicker than it's currently possible. You can start. <clears throat> 